Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. This one on um, using y equals mx plus b to create a table of values. So um, you might be given an equation such as um, something fairly straightforward, like y is equal to negative 3x plus 1. And your teacher might ask you to make a table of values. So in order to make a table of values, basically we choose our x values, whatever we want them to be. I don't know why I'm making it squiggly. I'll make a straight line, make it look nice and neat. And so we make a table of values with an x value and y value. So um, there's no real rule of thumb. Your teacher may specify you, but if if I'm given the choice, basically I like to I like to make a table of values with five different points in it. So negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. Generally, that's what I would use if I was if I was given the choice. And we need to find the y values for that. So in order to do that, what we need to do is take these x values and substitute them back into our original equation. So I'm going to do it for a couple of points. And once you get a couple, you can kind of follow a pattern. So let's do it for negative 2. So x is equal to negative 2. So if I do that, I get y is equal to negative 3 times negative 2 plus 1. So negative 2 times negative 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. So that's my first value. And then I can just repeat that for the next one. So let me try negative 1. x is equal to negative 1. y is equal to negative 3 times negative 1, plus 1. So that's 3 plus 1 is 4. So you can kind of see what's happening and it's going down by 3 each time and it should because look at my slope my slope is negative 3 and that means you know that my table my y values are going to go down by 3 each time so my next number should be 1 and then I subtract 3 from that so 1 subtract 3 is negative 2 and then negative 2 subtract 3 is negative 5 so that's sort of a, uh, an easy way to get your table after you get your first couple you can go ahead and, or really after you get your first point you can go ahead and fill in the rest um, but if your teacher wants you to continue to work out each point, you can use this method here like I did over on the side. So let me show you that with another quick little example. So let's choose a different one. So y is equal to 5x minus 3. So let me make my table over here, give myself a little bit more room this time. So x and y, and I'll choose, again, I'll choose negative 1, neg or negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And then I'll start over here, and I'll start with negative 2 again. So y is equal to 5 times negative 2 minus 3. So that's negative 10. Subtract 3, and that's negative 13. Let's try the next one. y is equal to 5 times negative 1 minus 3. So that's negative 5 minus 3, negative 8. So you can see this time going up by 5 because my slope here in my y equals mx plus b is plus 5 so that tells me what it goes up by so my next one should be negative 8 plus 5 which would be negative 3 negative 2 plus 5 is 2 and then 2 plus 5 is um, 7 so again if you're you know if you doubt that you could always check so let me just check x is equal to 2 so if I go y is equal to 5 times 2 minus 3 so that's 10 minus 3, which is, of course, 7, which is right. So, guys, that's a general way in how to create a table from uh, a linear equation. And I hope this helps. Good luck in class. I'll talk to you guys later.